Liquid AI is on a roll. They have been producing model upon model and this time they have come up with a mixture of expert model geared towards on-device intelligence. This new model LFM2 8 billion A1 billion is a state-of-the-art hybrid model which is part of their next generation of edge AI systems. We have been covering their models for quite some time. I believe I have covered each and every one of their model but recently they are hyperactive as you can see in the last couple of months they have released few of the models in multi-modality in audio vision and text and few more and we have covered all of them so let's try this new model out to see how exactly it works this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel this is my Ubuntu system I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Let me install all the prerequisites. Most important, make sure that you install the transformers from its source. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Now, while it installs all the prerequisites, let's talk a bit more about this new model. Now, this model, as I said, is a mixture of expert. It achieves the quality of a 3 to 4 billion dense model while being faster than Quen 3 1.7 billion. It has 8.3 billion total parameters and 1.5 billion active parameters. It achieves remarkable speed and memory optimization as per the benchmarks and the data which they have shared. Its hybrid architecture integrates 18 double gated convolutional blocks with 6 grouped query attention layers trained over 12 trillion tokens in multiple languages. I will also be testing it out in multilinguality and we are going to check it out how exactly it works. I think it is more geared towards agentic and lightweight reasoning tasks. And if you're looking uh, for a model for a lightweight rag pipeline or a multi-turn conversational AI on edge, maybe this could be a choice. Anyway, so let's go back and see what is happening. Everything is installed now next up let me launch my jupyter notebook and then what we are going to do we are going to download the model and play around with it let's download the model here i'm just going to run this and the model is being downloaded as you can see and the model is downloaded let's try to do the inference First up, I'm just asking it, hey, smile, you're on camera. I'm recording this for a YouTube video. And there you go, a nice sweet answer. It is smiling back, as you can see with an emoji. And it is ready to chat. Great to be on camera with you. This sounds like a fun video. What's the vibe? Whether it's casual conversation, tips or something creative, I'm all in. Let's make it engaging. So the model is very enthusiastic. It's not dry. Because this thing which I felt with the previous LFM models that they were a bit dry. This one doesn't seem like it, which is always good. Next up, I'm testing its creative writing. So I'm asking it that to write a short enemy story set in a futuristic Tokyo where neon dragons fly through the skyline and music controls reality itself. The main character, Aiko, is a teenage DJ who discovers her beats can bend time include emotion, action, and a touching ending that feels like the final episode of a powerful enemy series. So let me run this. And while it runs, let's check VRAM consumption. So it is consuming 16.5 gig of VRAM as it is fully loaded onto the GPU. Yep, I think it is just staying around that, which is not bad at all. Okay, so let's wait for it to come back. And the model has come back with the response. If you read through this, like in the shimmering sprawl of the Neo Tokyo, 
with skyscrapers pulsed with neon light and the air hummed with electric energy. Music wasn't just sound, it was magic. So I think it is impressively cinematic and emotionally resonant output. You see, uh, even if you look at this, smiled, heart racing, with twist of her mix, the city shifted, dragon wings flared, city pressed again. So primarily, the model craft is crafting a very vivid enemy style world, blending cyberpunk aesthetics with spiritual fantasy in my humble opinion. The tone feels a bit poetic to me and reflective with strong imagery because of this neon dragons, time bending music and also, you know, a touch of glowing skylines. I think that is sort of evoking a full visual experience if you read through it. And if you just check at the flow and fluency, narratively, I think it is following a classic enemy arc where we have a gifted protagonist a mystical mentor figure and a climactic transformation that fuses power with sacrifice. And I'm actually reading through it as I talk and look at this, how good is that? I mean, that is capturing the both spectacle and introspection where um, there is some very high energy action happening. For example, look at this final crescendo erupting across the sky, whereas it is also a bit cohesive emotionally satisfying and there is you know sort of a quietness around the story so really love it uh, you can tell that i'm an enemy fan um, it is but and the model has done very very well so look i think for creative writing maybe you know in a role play on the edge device this could be a good choice maybe i will also try it out in another video with the role play stuff Next up, I'm asking the model to do the multilinguality. So model supports these languages up till Spanish. I am also asking it few other languages, which is not in their data set. The sentence is very short. The light of hope shines in every heart. So if you are that language speaker, please also confirm in the comments if you think that the translation is correct or not. And the model has come back with the response and it is pretty interesting. There is a strong multilingual output, I would say. All of the core languages which it supports, what Google Translate tells me, they're all correct. Uh, they're accurate, they're fluent and natural. Uh, but if you are that language speaker, please also confirm because Google Translate can be quite literal at times. Um, especially what I see Arabic and French lines are quite elegant. Chinese version is bit literal uh, in terms of Google Translate, but even even then. Now, if I look at Swedish, Indonesian, Hindi, and Urdu, um, Swedish is not that far away from the mark as per Google Translate. Hindi, I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. Urdu is totally off, I think. Um, Indonesian, I'm not really sure. So let me know what do you think about it. But all in all, the core languages, but it advertises on the model card words. Okay, let's do a quick coding one. And finally, I'm testing it out for coding and I'm asking it to create me a single self-contained HTML file, which will show a responsive UI. There are some requirements and just a dummy data around projects with title and then some sidebar and some output. Let's see what it does here. It has created the code. Let me open it in the browser. So this is a UI it has generated. It is responsive. It has created a UI, but it's not really much to write home about. If I maybe let me click on these links. Okay. But they are responsive at least. You see when you click it, they change their color. When I hover around them, they display, display something. So it has, you know, given us the boilerplate, but could be much, much better given the coding frontier has really, really gone far beyond this. Anyway, still, I think given the size of the model um, could, could have done better. But other than that, I think in other domains, it has performed quite well. Let me know. What do you think? Please like the video and subscribe and please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And I would really, really appreciate. And you can see once you become a member, sorry, one, once you become a member, your um, beautiful picture will also display here with the mention so please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support